there. Welcome to this week's All Age Slot. So, last week we heard all about how we don't need to be afraid because God looks after us just like a good shepherd does look after his sheep. So, do you remember last week Josh told us in, it was in Psalm 23 that it says God leads us and he guides us and he's with us even in the darkest valleys so we don't need to worry which is amazing so this week I'm going to give you a few clues as to what we might be talking about so first of all I have the sheep I don't actually own any sheep but these are white and precious like sheep that's a terrible impression. So I'll pop my sheep here. I've got two of them. It's not uh, panic buying. And I have this shepherd robe, also known as a as a dressing gown. Pop, pop this on. So. It's a bit too hot today for a dressing gown, but there we go, it's commitment. And I have this headdress that definitely isn't a manky tea towel. It smells funny. Well, you may have guessed it. This week, we're talking about the Good Shepherd. I know what you're thinking, we talked about that last week, I know, I watched it. But, this week we're going to have a look at what Jesus said about the Good Shepherd. What he said about it in the book of John. So, the book of John is about Jesus. It's about Jesus' life. And the reason it was written in the way that it was, was so that people would know the truth about him they would know that he is God, the Messiah. So, in the book of John, Jesus made statements about himself. And these were called I Am Statements. And today we're looking at the fourth one he made. He said, I am the Good Shepherd. So thanks to what Josh said last week, we know that a Good Shepherd looks after his sheep. Um, guides his sheep, leads his sheep, and we also had a quick look at how he protects his sheep. Jesus then described another person. This was someone called a hireling. This is someone who was paid to look after someone else's sheep. This person didn't really care about the sheep at all. He maybe even didn't really like them. Instead, he didn't look after the sheep, really. He didn't really lead them, and he didn't really guide them, and he definitely didn't protect them. Instead, all he cared about was money, and maybe even getting a tan out on the fields. Jesus then described a situation that happened quite a lot, which is the sheep's enemies came for them. Now, the enemy of a sheep in those days was a wolf because a wolf would get hungry and want to eat one of the sheep. So, Jesus then described what these two different people, the Good Shepherd and the Hireling, did when the wolf came for the sheep. So, picture this. The Hireling is just relaxing on the field, counting his money, and then this wolf turns up and goes, Mmm, I want to eat a sheep. Probably didn't, but did turn up to eat a sheep. Jesus said that the hireling then ran away. Because the hireling didn't care about the sheep. He didn't care what happened to them. He only thought about himself and his own life. And he ran away. Thankfully, Jesus said this isn't what the good shepherd did. Jesus said... I am the Good Shepherd. I lay my life down for the sheep. Wow, so actually we don't need to worry. Because Jesus isn't like the hireling, he really loves us. So when we're in trouble, he came to save us. 
we were in trouble because we turned away from God. And that's not good. We needed rescuing. We're helpless sheep and we needed rescuing. But instead of running away or leaving us to, to be eaten by this wolf, Jesus came and he laid down his life for us. He died on the cross so that we could belong to him, so that we would be safe. Jesus is our good shepherd. He laid his life down for us so that we would be safe so that we would be saved. And that is the most amazing news. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you that you are our good shepherd. Thank you that this means that we do not have to be afraid that we are in trouble. But because Jesus is the good shepherd who loves us so much that he died for us, we have been made safe with you. Please, Lord, help us to trust you more and be more thankful this week. Amen.